We're on the northern side of Sydney Harbour, where North Head intersects with Manly. It's a unique mix of national park and suburbia, and there's also a unique population of long-nosed bandicoots. Now, Catherine Price from the University of Sydney is studying this population, and we're going to go out trapping bandicoots with her, but it means we have to meet her at 5 a.m. Well, they're pretty feisty little animals, which is probably actually part of the reason that they can survive in this environment. They're hard to catch, um, which makes it also hard for dogs and cats to catch them. In this project, Catherine Price is weighing, measuring and microchipping, as well as taking a DNA sample. She's trying to understand just how this suburban population interacts with the population that lives in the park. Take a look at this. These are bandicoot diggings. It's often the first sign that people get that they have bandicoots in their backyard. Essentially what happens at night is the bandicoots come out and they snuffle around looking for invertebrates to eat. They'll stick their snout right in and dig to get these invertebrates. They've done it all over this patch of grass. Catherine Price says there's a number of simple things people can do to help the bandicoots. Have a nice lawn, put mulch down, have things like compost bins and worm farms, anything really where you're creating an environment that's going to be rich in soil invertebrates the bandicoots are going to love. But then also keep your cats in at night if you have a dog, keep it away from areas that the bandicoots might be using and have um, areas that the bandicoots can shelter and nest in. So big lamandra bushes or thick kind of areas of dense grass and bush is what they like to nest in.